Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a programming of BPSK in MATLAB. So instead of MATLAB, I am using an open source software called GNU Octave. So this is the GNU Octave and I will uh, use it to form make BPSK module. So here we have the binary data 0100111. This data is a binary and we will uh, modulate it. and this is the length function of data which will show the length of the data so once we run it we will get our data and we will get our length of the data now uh, we will use repeat matrix to create pulse 10 we will use uh, 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 for example uh, rep, rep mat 5 to 4 will make a 2 into 4 matrix containing only 5 similarly rep mat 3.33 to make 3 into 2 matrix containing only 3.5 and rep mat 1 into 5 with data 1 will make a 1 into 5 matrix containing only data um, first column of data similarly for uh, 1 into 5 only data 2 we will you re make rape mat and will and that will make the pulse trend so this is how rape mat matrix is the working so here we get the th matrix containing only 3 into 3 with 2 into 3 type 1 into 3 has only data 1 that is 0 and 1 into 5 only data 2 has the 1 so we will use this function now in the pulse trend um, n is the length of data which we have used for the all length yani all uh, bits 1 0 0 1 we will use rep mat to create a pulse trend so and this data signal will be updated in every time the for loop so now we will run it as we see in that 0 has become a pulse trend 1 has also become pulse trend another 0 so all of the this data is um, displayed through the pulse trend <coughs> Now uh, we will make uh, data pulse. To make data pulse, we will need a time function. So we get the TB is the time of one bit, uh, and BR is the one by TB that is bit rate, and DT is the smallest possible time bit. So it is equal to TB by NP. This NP we can uh, set whatever is our um, whatever uh, is our need. So now um, we get all these three things. Uh, now we will make a time axis so d uh, we have uh, described we have uh, defined dt as also as dt here and from the t we will we'll start from dt to n into tb n is the size of the pulse and tb is the um, time taken by one ball so n tb is complete time taken and now we will plot this so this is the plot we get okay and it doesn't looks fine so we will change some um, statements of data um, in the plot for example we will change line width to 2.0 and axis we will send from 0 uh, tb into n yani from time 0 to n time and minus 0.5 amplitude to plus 0.5 amplitude x level will be changed to time sake y level will be amplitude volt and title will become input binary sinker so now our graph uh, our um, input signal looks better now for the carrier we will uh, take carrier signal f is equal to br br is the bit rate f say can be integral multiple of bit rate and carrier is equal to 2 pi f t that is simple uh, carrier function now we will plot this this time we, we will use subplot um, and now we will get like uh, this um, this is the carrier function and this is the input signal so um, and, uh, now uh, after that we have to modulate it so we know the for psk modulation the uh, c dash is cos omega t plus mt so according to masses phase is um, change we will make phase change vary according to the signal so phase change we are taking phi that is equal to pi into data signal now in the carrier that is uh, a cos 2 pi fct we have put added phi and um, we will also after making this uh, signal we will also plot it uh, we will make an address of plot and put all the things 
and now we have this input signal we have this uh, input binary uh, we has this uh, carrier function and now this is modulated signal next step now demodulation part for demodulation part we have to what to do for all of the signal this is we have to separate its every bit and we will use convolution in this one bit and this one bit and this one bit and this one bit that is db time and after the convolution we will make the answer so we have uh, started t1 that is time bit for one tv and carrier unit carrier signal we will making for convolution before the demodulation we are started demod one and digit one zero and now for every sign signal we will the in here we are taking a part of time signal that is uh, one pulse strain and the uh, we are multiplying with carrier phase function and the multiplication we are getting y1 so this is the multiplication of carrier wave with uh, in poor modulated signal now we will integrate it to convolution in convolution we have to first call um, flip a function but cos function is even so we don't need it now we will integrate into trap z function this uh, un we t1 use unit time and y is unit time z will be positive for 0 1 for uh, otherwise here we can see in command window so if z greater than this a is equal to a a is equal to b so here we are seeing the different z values and different demodulated values and if in cycle we are making uh, updating demod and also the digit is the uh, received pulse the, we are also making um, received pulse so that's how uh, after we will display so this is input binary signal this is carrier binary signal this is modulated signal and this is received binary signal thank you